new day. The same thing awaits me as yesterday, nothing changes. I don't understand why you hide your girlfriend in corners, instead of bringing her here so I can finally meet my future granddaughter-in-law. I know that I'm old and maybe you're ashamed of me, but before heaven takes me, I want to see her at least once. Look at you, such a handsome lad. I bet all the girls can't help but be drawn to you. You're not helping grandma. After breakfast, I look in the mirror. Instinctively I tense my non-existent muscles and squint my eyes to look better. But it's useless. I'm driving to school. No one sits next to me, not even homeless people. And if I think about it, neither in front nor behind me. I hope the driver is still there. I'm buying a quick snack. The cashier didn't even try to greet me with her smile, strange. She did it for a previous client. Look at them. Happy and carefree. They're enjoying their youth while they can. And me, unfortunately, I'm sinking, suffocating with the thought that something is slipping away from me. I feel like I'm slowly being denied all those moments that I should already have. They'll finish school with so many memories, and me. All I'll remember is listening to music during breaks or standing next to a group of people who are truly living. That guy doesn't have to do anything and he's surrounded by girls. Maybe he is nice, maybe he is an interesting person. It's just nonsense, nonsense repeated by people who don't want to admit the truth. Because unfortunately, the truth isn't popular to say. So what do you do after school? I don't know. Would you maybe like to hang out with me later? Stop hitting on my brother. But I just... Right, right. I didn't do anything. You need to meet someone. But I want Ryan. Stop whining. But I don't wanna... So much is happening around him. It would have been nice to at least switch places for one day. Hi, Natalie. Hi. Oh, right. Are you kidding me? They're lining up for him. I would like that too. At least have someone that cares. Here you go. Hi. So. Pretty privilege is unfortunately real. I remember in elementary school when people started bullying me. Even my friends whom I considered friends back then, they joined them too. They smirked when someone commented on my appearance. Mocking my looks. I made a mistake once and they reminded me of it until the end of school. I was afraid to go to school. The closer I got to the classroom door, the more my legs gave out. Then I started bawling prematurely. Perhaps it's because of them, and the stress they impose upon me. Maybe I would have looked better now if I was in different class. Who knows? Nathan, here buddy. They call me, I don't know why. Supposedly they're my buddies, but I already know I'm going there, just to stand by them and not say a word. It's weird. I'd rather not give strangers a reason not to like me. My voice, the way I speak. It's better to sit quietly and wait. We can go after school, if you want to. I don't know. I thought I would have a fresh start in high school. But now everyone hides their true intentions even more. No one wants to look like a douche, but I know what they think of me. Even if I didn't know them before, I bet if I had met them in my youth, they would have been my tormentors too. You probably think I'm a pessimist. Possible, but I'd prefer the term realist. Maybe these people don't know, who can blame them? They don't need to, it's beyond their mundane thoughts. Because it doesn't concern them. But it concerns me, it's my life and that's how it looks. You were right. What? You know, about the looks thing. What did I say? Appearance beats height. Well yeah, but only if you're very, oh. It looks weird in real life. I don't mind if a girl is taller. Do you mean taller or other? More to love. You don't have any standards. Maybe we have normal ones. No you don't. What do you want? What do you want? Why are we watching this? To learn more about female nature. Do we have to watch chick flicks to know that girl drools over Ryan Gosling? I thought you liked him. 
You said he's literally you. I preferred him in later productions. This one's a bit lame. So when is she coming? She says she'll be here soon. I don't know if this is a good idea. Since I couldn't help you and neither could anyone else, maybe a woman will. That's dumb. I know I know. But, at least we can try. Instead of listening to any woman's advice, it's better to observe what they do. The conclusions will be obvious. Don't complain, it'll be funny. Funny at my expense? I meant it would be fun to give you a glow up. Glow up only works if you are poor, with good genetics. That's why we need to cut your hair. Don't touch them, they're my last. Hey, we're already here. Pity, on their faces I mean. Trying to act more mature, convincing me that there is still a chance. Or maybe they really want to help, I don't know anymore. Maybe they could help me if my only problem was messy hair and a slight overweight. But my problem lies elsewhere. I go back home alone. I used to be afraid. Afraid that someone would hurt me irreversibly. I was afraid until I looked in the mirror. At home, I'm watching TV again with grandma, and all I see are pretty faces. Too darn pretty, if you ask me. Yesterday's movie was about some supposed ugly duckling, but they cast some catch for the main role. It's not even funny anymore, the makeup, a bit of extra weight, and the wrong clothes on someone above average don't make it convincing. Especially when that same actor shows up later in interviews without makeup, low body fat, just waiting to land on magazine covers. They never put people like me in these movies. We're stuck only in documentaries about poor people. No one wants to see us. That's why grandma's sleeping. Maybe they should write a book about it. But who's got time for books these days? I spend evenings playing video games, where I can be whoever I want, and no one judges my appearance, only my actions. How do I name myself? Yeah, that's right. Look, it's me. Let's crank up the intelligence. Add here and there. I don't have enough points, I guess no charisma in my build, go figure. What the? Just like in real life lol. Wait. I don't get it, 